Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. The NLT translation. The NLT translation. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your power. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. I like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai Bahashim Rakhakadash. The water Yahbashim Yahushai for giving us the apostles and the elders of great millstone who deserve double honors, rightfully so. Shalom to the Aki and pushing the word and sincerity and truth and being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. And what is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. 200 million missiles hitting the soils of America. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord lifting up the whole full lack into the chambers. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord shooting laser beams at the ungodly and the heathens. Rightfully so. Hey, I'll be right the Lord take the course of this video. Just a vessel seeking salvation out of this filthy place, spiritually known as Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, Babylon, and all the filthy, all the filthy customs they have taken upon. Uh, right now, the time is 7.55 a.m. Um, on the mission. You know, you know, chasing shekels all night. Uh, you know, and um, right now, um, right now it's Saturday, June 15, 2024. The whole year of Jacob's trouble. And very powerful year coin. And Abaratazada Lord preserve me in this um in this perilous time. Is that the way you say it? Let's see. Perilous mean. Here's the definition of perilous, full of danger or risk. Cunt. F perilous times, full of danger or risk. So we um. Uh, we are in dangerous time, and our life is at risk. And um, Yahweh Shah said um. Um. What he said, this this verse just jumped in my mind. I brought this out, I could find it. Um, um, let's go this way. Let's get another. I had other chat. I had other verses. So I brought this out. This to be the same name, meaning of the the same name of the chapter, the same name of this video. All right. So um, Jesus said, "Those who lose their life shall gain." Bible verse. Of, of According to Bible.com, Matthew chapter 10, verse 39, New International Version. Whoever finds their life will lose it, and whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. Con! It's locking. <laughs> so, that's the moment, man. That's the moment of clarity. It's a lock. <laughs> Whew. I gotta get the fuck up out of this fucking cesspool, man. A lot of things been happening, man. It's so spiritual. I don't know what to call it, man. Sometimes I don't know, you know, the situation. It's like it's getting hot over here. I'm trying to call. I'm out here, man. And I do believe y'all about Shimon Shah is preserving me, helping me out through these perilous times, man. So, it's like here, man. I'm a little, um, I'm a little overwhelmed from the situation. It's been. You know, the way y'all help me out with a little, give, give me little nuggets, man. Little things to help me out with, man. It helps me out, man. It builds my faith up, bro. It's faith boosters, man. These moments are faith boosters, bro. So, um, so let's get this in the, um, the, the blue letter. I like the blue letter. The way y'all shot for apostles to harm. The way y'all shot for apostles to for giving us the apostles great millstone and for apostles to harm finding the, um, Getting the blue letter up and running, man, because that was real powerful stuff, man. Helps me out a lot, man. Like I, I mean, I wish I, would, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be more studious, you know, you know, be um, I, I think Apostle Ball always say, what does he say? I think it's, it's it, um, repetition is the father of something like that. I can't remember how it goes, but I can't. I got a bad memory. You know, taking my supplement pills and vitamins, getting gold, you know, and all the stuff that helps the brain. Something like that. Repetition is the father of learning. There you go. 
I think I got it. Repetition is the father of learning. So, you know, oh, so I can undo that. <laughs> I need that one. All right, so, all right, I got, I want to go to the blue that a little fast. So I can open another tab. I got a lot of tabs open, so bear with me. I gotta keep opening up different tabs, man. But hey, man. Oh, do I, 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 hey, man. I feel like I'm learning, man. I feel like you know, hey. I feel like I, I'm learning how to navigate through the blue letter. I mean, through the um, the YouTube. I mean, the the the, the internet. You know, <laughs> I got these things up and running here, man. So do I? Yeah, about y'all shout for that. And hey, man. I used to do music and shit, man. I still don't know how I did the, all that stuff, man. I made a lot of songs and all that shit. I still, I, I, I try to go back, like not really go back to do. It. I listen to my shit. I'm like, man, how the fuck did I do that? Like. People always tell me like, oh, you had it all. People say I could have been famous. Yeah, fuck it. I don't want to be famous. I want to be infamous for this society. Infamous is the same word as famous. I want to be, I want, I, hey man, I want, I'd rather give up my life here to gain eternal life, bro. You know, you know, you had all the thugs in the streets, the gangs, the, the bloods and the crips killing each other for, for colors and shit. Them niggas died for the wrong reasons. I don't want to be one, I don't want to die being a part of this world, man. I don't want to lose my life here, man. I don't want to be a part of this society, man. That's it, man. You know, I, I got a lot of, I, I feel like I'm being, um, you know, Pascal Paul was talking about we being, you know, we being tormented by Satan, all the crazy thoughts and all the things that can happen. Oh, what about this? You're going to better watch out for this. That's what's, that's what's happening to me, man. I'm going through it like that, bro. Like, Pascal Paul, he said that, you know, our apostles got great sayings that in, in, and that's one of the things that Pastor Cabal said. Like, yo, you know, Satan be plaguing you with crazy thoughts. And he do, man. I be getting plagued with crazy fucking thoughts, man. Like, there's all types of shit, man. And this last night, you know, I was going through it in my mind. I said, you know what? I'm just going to let things go and put it in the hands of Yahweh Shah. Because you, it, whatever, it's his will. We just got to, we just got to obey it. You know, we just got to obey Yahweh Shah's will. It's their, it's their will. We just got to obey it. You know? And that makes so much sense. I like it. Uh, you know, I'm on a mission right now. All right, so I said, let me get one in. All right, so I, I, want, I want to go here real fast. I just want to read this verse here. What Yahweh Shah said. All right, that's what he said. Let's go and it's going to be red. I know Yahweh Shah said it. All right, um, that was. Thoughts. Um. Wait, I want to see what this word says right here. Salaka, this is this word just popped up right now. This is very about. Let me see. Come on, man. Give me the meaning, man. Come on, man. This right here. What is this? What is this word? Is this this word? Yep. Oh, come on, ready? It's gonna give me a hard time right now. Salaka. Discipline is that it's like it. Oh boy, there you go. Just trying to see what this how you say it. Disciple. Oh, discipleship. Okay, it's like it. I can't even see the word, so like, disciple, I know, uh, that's what it was, disciple, I just wanted to see the, the discipleship is costly, the discipleship is costly, that's what that says, alright, so I can, alright, so, I'm uh, just reading on, um, y'all about Shemel Shai is with the, with the hopeful elect, and that's what I'm praying to be. I'm praying to be a predestinated one. That's every day I pray for that. Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, you know, Azanaya, Azanaya, you know, I brought this out, I'm one of your men, you know, and I call on the Lord every day and um, keep me focused, you know, and um, keep me, um, keep me, endure, um, keep the spirit on me, just um, keep me enduring to the end, man. That's what I be saying every day, man. I, I want to keep, I want to see this, I want to endure to the end. Whatever is gonna come upon me, I want it to be because of this truth. You know, I don't want to be, I don't want to fall the fuck out. 
I don't want to be fucking part of this, back in this world, none of that shit. I'm not looking for no come up or nothing. You know what I mean? I just, I, I realized that all the things I did give up in this world is coming to naught. You know? It's coming to naught, bro. This shit is fucking gone. It's done. We got little shekels. We get little shekels. We get a little chicken. You know, we get to get some some dipping sauce, dip, eat the chicken. You get to feed your little people and your little ones and shit. You know, you get to eat some um um chicken biryani. That shit be good. You go front, but it's all just for a moment. You know, just for a moment. That chicken biryani we ate some last night. Me and my little one, she likes that stuff, man. I'm surprised, but she like she like you know the Elam food. We go there, we she loved that shit, man. I was I you know. Nobody about shoot me out shot for, for um, you know, for giving me the opportunity to, to raise someone that was my own, you know. And um, I always, I always emphasize to her, bro. It's kind, of, you know, it's it's hard to um for me. <laughs> hey man, I just, I just, you know, he wasn't my son, but you know, I just lost someone, found out, and then, you know, my damn ex-wife, she's bugging out, like you know what I mean, like, you know, not telling me. I'm the one who raised them, but you know, that's not here or there, but. We gotta, we gotta get to the point. Realize that you know, we may not end up with nobody on the side. We might, not, we not, we, we may, yo, you ever watch Walking Dead? Motherfuckers, everybody got their kids eating up by zombies and shit, man. Motherfuckers, their kids turn to zombies and they sit and howling, locked up in the closet, don't want to let them out. They still my baby. No, the world got the baby. You know, the world got the baby. All oh, the spirit world. You know, the Lord sent the child back to the spirit world. You know. So we gotta keep that in mind, man. Our life belongs to you. when we get in this truth. Our life belongs to you. How about Shimei was shot? And they're gonna deter. Hey, I, I was just telling my little one last night. Remember happened to Joe? You know the thing is, I let her, you know I let her read it herself. I said, cover your head up and read the scriptures, because we know when it comes to a woman, she's supposed to cover her head up. You know, I'm just telling her how to plow the rules, man. That's all I'm doing. No, and you don't want to listen to me. You going well the, when all hell breaks loose. When shit does hit the fan, you better hope and pray. You got your how about your mouth shot name in your mouth. You better hope and pray that name is still in your mouth. I I, I don't I always tell her. So listen, when they separate us, you better keep your how about your mouth shot name in your mouth. Don't worry, don't be looking for your daddy. I dad, your daddy already told you everything you supposed to be doing. That's it, man. Our Shashi was out here now yeah, playing. They they, they 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 ready to bring the other one from the Gurkha troops, the UN nation, or the, the army, all that. They want they want they want your blood. I remember why it was one video I can't find it. You know, a lot of stuff was knocked off of YouTube. Um, it was somebody that said, "I don't care about nothing. I want those Jews." They this they they know who the real Jews are. They know it ain't those ones over there in, in that land. They ain't any Amalek. I don't care what you say. They know who the real deals are. So y'all can fucking play around what you want. You Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they want you. And I ain't talking about the army. <laughs> they want your behind, man. They want to rip you to shreds, man. I see it in their eyes every day, man. I can see it. They drooling. Salakia. Like discipleship, discipleship is costly. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it says. That's the that's the headline for the um for um Matthew chapter sixteen verse twenty four. Uh, let's read it now. Uh, what was the point? All right, I'm gonna read a little bit of this anyway. It says Matthew chapter sixteen verse twenty four. Then said Yahweh Shah unto his disciples, If any man will come after me. Let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. And that's our mission, bro. And I truly believe since I've been running around doing this now, I truly believe I, I, I remember one once incident, I know, um, we was up in um, you know, the apostles made a decree that we were gonna start bouncing around. So we was bouncing around. So um an individual I was walking with. He's no longer in camp no more. He's, like, he's not with us in camp no more. So we was walking. I was sweating like a dog. I came from far away. Three hours away and shit on the bus and shit to get down here, man. And this guy, he was very um studious in the truth. He's been, he been longer than me. He was up back in, in the one West days. And he knew the apostles back then. 
I do believe, yes, he was up in one west. And um he was pissed off. Cussing his shit. Oh, what the fuck? I'm lucky. I don't know, I don't know what to say. So he's like, why the fuck we gotta come up here? He's looking at me, he's telling me this. I just said, yeah, how about Shamil Shah's up there? And he just got mad at me. But I don't know. That's what I said. I said, yeah, how about Shamil Shah's up there? You know, we had to go up to the um the, the to the cloister museum. It was fucking hot as hell that day. I remember. I was like, I said, I ain't know what else to say. I said, that's all I could tell him. Like the the build his faith up. Yeah, how about Shamil Shah's up there? You know? That's what I said to him. That's blatantly what I said to him. And now individuals telling me that um I don't know. The guy's plagued and shit in his mind. He's smoking cigarettes and shit. And I don't know what the fuck that shit is about. I don't know what the fuck going on. I'd be like, what? And you wouldn't expect I tell you when I when I, I look back at a lot of videos, your brothers was whew, they had the they had the spirit on them, man. It was, it was, they were, um, I thought they were going to walk on there, man. Like, like, I thought they was going to be the ones on those chariots, bro. That's how I was looking at it. There was a lot of brothers, a lot of individuals that's not, they're not with us no more. That was, that was, I, I thought they were going to walk on air, bro. I'm serious, man. I was looking at them like, yo, they the ones. Like, you know, you look back at it now and they not here. I got certain brothers I have seen when I heard them speak, right? I heard, I'm just going to emphasize on something, bro. Like, I, I, I heard certain interviews that I spoke, right? And then I said, oh, shit. I saw something and it, it clarified he was not um, one. Then I heard certain brothers that, that, that I, when I heard them speak, I said, oh, he's one of them. You know, like, certain things just scared me. Like, I didn't, I just couldn't speak about it. But it was like, I was, I was scared. I was scared, bro. Like, I was fucking scared. I'm like, oof. How, if they not one, what of me? You know what I'm saying? That's how you speak, man. I'm like, what the? F Why, how, how he getting not to be in it? It's not of us. Something happened. Something between Yabba Shemel Shah and that individual. I don't want to be none of that shit, man. I don't, I don't want no squirrels with y'all. I don't want no smoke with Yabba Shemel Shah on no, on no negative vibes. If I can say it like that. That's how I'm feeling about it. And I truly believe when this individual said this to me, and I said, Yabba Shemel Shah's up there. And I expect him like, come, let's go. Because he was strongly, he, was, he had a strong spirit back on him. He was, a, he was a be on, he knew the scriptures, man. You know, he knew the scriptures. And that's, I was, I was like, I was like, I'm, I'm, you know, man, a lot of brothers, a lot of brothers from New York, they know who he is, but I, I don't know. So I still, I'm still like trying to, um, I'm still praying for, um, for forgiveness I should have did in the world. I'm asking for forgiveness. I'm trying to get these tattoos off. Actually, I'm working on that right now. I, I found, I said, I'm about to go um to this um, um skinologist. I don't know what the fuck it's called. Dermatologist. I'm working on that now, man. I'm trying to cleanse my son. I'm getting ready for y'all. When he get back, I want no blemishes, man. On what's what I'm working on. I'm, I want to bear my cross, man. I ain't fuck. fuck. Fuck this fucking society, bro. And you know what? I'm glad I ain't got massive kids, man. I be <laughs> mad women could have been pregnant right now. Like they didn't get abortions, but of going in these women raw, I ain't making no more babies, man. My brothers and shit. My brothers, one of my brothers got like 15 kids. My other brother got like seven boys. They, I think, I, I truly believe one of them is my father. And I said that in the spirit a long time ago. I said that's my that's 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 my father. He gets mad and my brother gets mad. Why he can't have his own life? <laughs> That's why, I, yo, hey, I, you know what? Um, uh, you know, I don't really talk to my brothers and sisters no more right now. I cut them off. Like, like I just don't be in a group. You know, we was always being a group talking and all that. But I can't talk to them no more. They hey, come to a barbecue. I, I don't go hang out with nobody no more. I be in my damn house. I go home and I and I pray to the Lord and I'm looking at this little girl I'm like, oh boy, this is the last individual. You know what I mean? This is it is what it is, right? But I I truly believe that we gotta hold our cross. We gotta bear our cross, bro. And that's how I'm looking at it, bro. So um, this is uh, this where we at Salakia. So this is um Matthew chapter 16 verse 24. 24. I'll read all the way down now. I'll, I'll, I won't stop. All right. 
Then Yahweh said unto the disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Follow him. How you follow him? You follow through um through the the disciples, the, the, uh, the apostles. They up there, man. They, they, I'm telling you, man. The apostles of great millstones is the disciples of Yahweh Shemuel Shah. So, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. You ain't, you ain't got nothing back there, bro. Yo, bro, you ain't got nothing back there, man. Ain't shit back there. And I, I, I emphasize it, baby, to my little ones. They ain't trying to give you nothing. Unless you're going to sell your soul. And it's going to prove that, right? For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my name's sake shall find it. And we, I feel like I found it, man. I feel like this is a life source, bro. I feel I feel invigorating when I get into these scriptures, man. I'll be like, oh, man, really me? That's what I be saying. I'll be, my pleasure, man. My pleasure to do the will of Yahweh Shem You know? I ain't got nothing over here right now. You know what? I'm watching them while I'm comparing. I don't know what y'all doing, but I'm comparing the the um I'm pa I'm comparing um Great Millstone, right? Which is Pastor Hall, Pastor Cabal, Pastor Ricard, Pastor Ramla, and the elder brothers from Connecticut. And I'm comparing them. I did it when that when I was first got into the truth and I was leading up. And then you know we had comfy, we had Sabak, Comfy, and um Um I um it's a gang your Gehenna and them other individuals talking shit, you know what I mean? And they was they was they was vigorating, um especially you know ISPK they was pretty good. Um General Hanna was I right. when well, I was a listen to him, I ain't gonna front. But I wasn't trying to get down with them. I was like, I'm like, oh, damn, they got I was you know, I was listening to, I'm telling you, Comfy was the first guy I heard on on that ass, I ain't not gonna lie. When he was up against the Mormons, I said, What? Con Con Test testimony. Uh, it says testimony. I'm testifying. I'm testifying. This doing testimony. That's the spirit. The spirit. The word testimony. Let's look at that again. Hold on. Yeah, this is testimony. So Salaki, just just seeing what it said. Just test. I'm just testifying what happened. So I heard comfy, and I was like, yo, he the more I remember that video. The other the more men talking with the tiles on. What? He just kicked down white people. I he just kicked down the so-called white man. Oh shit! I said I didn't know that was in the Bible. And all the way up to now, man. I, hey man, you know what, bro? I, I you know, I wish I'd have did more better in school, man. Been more. I was I was more afraid of like I can't. You know, I was always telling Lord, like Lord, man, I, I can't read as good as these dudes. That's all I should say. It was his decision, man. I truly believe that, man. And then he, and when I saw a blessing for readeth. He said, what he said? Oh, hold on, let's find that verse real fast. Let's find that, let's find that verse real quick. I, I'm just reading, just pulling, pulling it out as, as it is. Bless who readeth Bible verse. Let's see what happens here. All right, that's not it. Oh, boy, here we go. Come on, now, give me what I need. Shaka. Blessed who read Bible verses. That's what he's about to be here. Hey, here's a verse. I don't know. I know it's a revelation. Yep. Revelation. Man, listen, bro. I I just I feel like I right now I don't give a shit, yo. I'm fighting for a crown, baby. I got something to fight for, bro. <laughs> oh man, I tell you, man, this very great. You know, I have both a coffee, black coffee with an espresso shot. You know, Drake, I got the um chlorophyll. So I saw the brother rocking this. So I went and got me some chlorophyll. This is very this is like like a green juice. This is really good. Mm -hmm. I even go front. So Revelation chapter three. Revelation chapter one verse three. Bless this is one of the verses that when I read it. When I went, I was like, you know, stumbling on my words back then. I'm like, yo, man. When I saw this, bless, Revelation chapter 3, verse, Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Bless is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. We went over the word, being prophecy me to say before. And the prop, and, and they, we were, Revelation, I mean, Jeremiah chapter 28, verse, verse 8, 
that's another powerful verse um and other verses that go with it you know the lord gives um i told you i when i i first when i first heard about reincarnation it hit it was it clicked it was accurate that's why i was able to say that my uh my my nephew was my father that's why i was able to say that and then you know my brother didn't get he didn't understand but he years later he understood what i was saying because he it didn't he didn't when i kept mentioning it i kept mentioning it kept mentioning it like yo that's that's your father you know, like, you know that's his third son and his third son the same age as my my daughter you know and i truly believe i don't know who my my daughter is too you know you know she looks like my mother but she come from my father's side and i truly believe that i don't know who she is but uh, that that's all full connection. Even like my other my other nephews, I'm just calling this out. So so like in the spirit, <laughs> yo. Though I remember at my father's funeral, I seen his other brothers. They was mad tall, and and they was, you know, they all passed away now. But then my brother started bringing sons in. I truly believe those are my uncles. They was like my um. They was around. I don't know who's who, but I just knew when I saw that little one. I, I said, I know this. I, I was just in the spirit when I said it. I know him. I said that in my mind. Then I tried, you know what I mean? Me and my, you know, I don't know. My, me and my brother, he, he all right, but, but I don't, I'm not worldly no more. So we don't get along because I'm not worldly. I don't do the shit I used to do. So I truly believe that's why we don't get along. Because he said that. One time he said that we don't have nothing in common no more, but smoking weed, see? So it was just something. And now we ain't got nothing in common. It's <laughs> so salakia, so man. Hey, I ain't going to fuck back. So y'all can keep the fucking world. Revelation, I'm about to zap. Don't do the hand thing. Salakia. So don't look at the hands. I'm about to zap. We ain't going back. <laughs> we ain't doing none of this shit, man. Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the word understand. Listen, hear, understand. The words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein. And we gotta keep these prophecies, these these um these commandments. For the time is at hand and everything is happening. It's 2024, everything is happening, bro. Fuck what you heard, man. This is about the, this is the moment of clarity, man. It's pure on the oh man. I was just went over, I did a video earlier. I was like, man, I'm over here running around trying to get all these shekels, man. This shit just don't. It's, it's, it's man. Sorry, bro. This shit is, I got holes in my pocket, bro. I got, I got mad bills. I just got another bill. As I turn around, I gotta pay bills, man. <laughs> I'm just paying. I'm just getting. Right at the moment, just buying time until this shit collapse. That's all we're doing, bro. Buying time until this shit collapse, bro. We are paying bills until this shit is no more paying bills, man. The time is at hand, man. So that popped my so I could um uh I have a few other verses so I could, uh, that popped in my mind. So let's go back to here real fast. So and that that's what that's what happened. So I'm blessed that that I'm taking I'm taking out I'm taking the chance. I don't care. Oh, you don't know how to read. He's stumbling on the words. Fuck that. He said bless. I'm, I'm gonna try then. Then I re if I got the apostles and they, they keep breaking down and under they keep breaking it down and I understand, I comprehend, fuck that I'm out there. I'm out there. I'm on a battlefield with those men. Fuck that. I see other men coming from other countries, other states, um, from Canada, from um Ukraine. They all I see them. They up in the, they they all over the place, bro. They could give me double honors to the apostles, man. From the Wadi Yabba Shimon Shah for giving us the apostles. Fuck y'all, I'm with them. I'm gonna follow suit, bro. Y'all need to go home and go eat um and smoke cigarettes and all the fuck y'all doing. Fuck that. Why, what the fuck, man? I used to do that shit, smoke cigarettes and shit. And smoke weed and shit. So I ain't doing that shit no more. That's not gonna give me eternal life. And I feel I feel that Satan mad at me because I don't do the worldly shit. So he's talking shit in my brain, sending demons after me. I'm getting smacked around by them demons be going hard. You know, someday I was, I was just talking to my ex-wife. She talking shit. She tried. Now, you know, she got she's smooth. I said, Look, I got no time to argue with you. You know, I'm trying something. Are you gonna roll with me or not? 
You know? Your other baby father lost his son. Now, that was not my real son, but everybody knew he was... Everybody I see telling me, I'm sorry about your son dying. You know? Fuck, I don't know what the fuck to call it. But I raised him, though. Shit, I'm I'm I'm, ter I'm, 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 I'm I don't want nothing to happen to my little one. I don't know what the fuck that shit was about. I'm praying that nothing happened to my little one. I'm Lord, I don't know what the fuck I would do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm praying for those things, man. I, I, the only way I could to be able to be sustained is um doing the will y'all watching me out shot. And I truly believe that. And I'm sticking to that, man. I'm sticking to that shit, man. Fuck that. Yeah, nigga, y'all want to go out there and be in the world? Go about to be feel feel free. I'm going I'm rolling with this one, man. This is the moment, man. Yo, and, and our apostles has been so correct. It's making everybody terrified, bro. These motherfuckers is pissed that they ain't the ones. They mad at life, kid. So, you know what? All right. Matthew chapter 16, verse 25. For, whoso, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my name's sake, I mean, for my sake, shall find it. I need to be, I need that. That's the part I need. All right. For what is a man profit if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? What is the gain? What you gonna gain? You lose your soul, bro. You know, burnt up by nuclear missiles and shit. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? What? What you gonna get? Your name on the side of a bus? Your face on the side of a bus? Oh, somebody else's wife? That nigga's out of your mind. Oh, jet setting? Huh? Going everywhere on a jet? Calling, some, calling other men that's reading the Bible bums? Oh, changing the name. Changing the name in your how about she mouth shot? You're being deceitful. You got the spirit of Hananiah. A lying, deceitful spirit. The man of Great Millstone got the got the spirit of Jeremiah. Uh, um, how'd that go? How'd that go? How'd that go? Um, let's go real quick, real quick. The dude could always fly. I, I do. I ever see my shot for for um for um? Cause I, yo, they every everybody seen that you was char Ned Daniel Ray. Everybody seen that you was charging for breakdowns and garments. Okay. Everybody seen it. So I don't know what the fuck you talking about. I don't give a fuck that shit. We saw that shit. I ain't no fuck that. Fuck that. We saw it and that's it. You ain't gonna be fucking looking. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be looking at you and then oh he's a good guy. Fuck that, man. You're not a good guy. Cause people was hungry. The sheep was hungry out here and the and the pops had to go up there and feed us. That's how we got fed. Oh damn it. That's a lot. I just wanna get it. Okay, and we know this Jer um, Jeremiah chapter f um, Jeremiah chapter um, chapter one. It says Jeremiah called and commissioned, and that's what they do, man. Jeremiah was called and commissioned, bro. So let's see. It says Jeremiah chapter one verse five. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. So he was known before he was formed. It's the spirit world. It's the spirit world, bro. Before I formed thee in the belly, he before he said before I formed thee in the belly. It means he got he got charged over how you're gonna be formed in the belly. That's what proved that judgment starts when you get on the earth. Once you come into the out of the spirit world, into the loins of a man, and into the um woman, and being the, in the um, human incubator, you start growing. The Lord said, "All right, He already told you what's gonna happen to you. You could grow up, be a natural born." Or you could be a, a stillborn. Or you could come out crippled. Or you can come out and be, and they fucking board your ass and chop your ass up. He got the judgment. It's all judgment right there, man. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou cometh forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. He sanctified the apostles, man. He separated them. That was some real. Did you hear the stories? What they went through, man? This, if this was some gangster shit, right? They got ran down on. And if they was moving, you know, just saying, like, if these motherfuckers, niggas that were, were, were paid in for, the whole team, the, the whole team killed the other team. The, the, they, the, the, the family, right? 
um, I forgot the name of that shit. The one that Cameron paid, he killed the other dude. And then he came home and they finally killed him. Ain't no safety in here. Niggas selling bricks and shit. Man, get the fuck out of here, B. This is the real deal. This is the real, this is the real money. This, oh, man, fucking palms burning. It's locking. I'm just, yeah, oh, boy. Before I, before I, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou coming forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. So we prophesied to everybody, global. That's what he thought. If we the ones, man. If if, if, if I'm one of these dudes, that's what I'm saying. Lord, I know what I'm going to do in the first. I don't know how long, but the first. You know it's going to be a thousand years, but the first two years, I don't know how long that's going. That's a long thousand years, right? I'm just going to lay in front of your throne and, and pray to you and, and thank you for all the gloriousness if I make it out of here. If you don't mind, I'll be right to Zion. I'll be right to Zion if I can do that. So, that's what I'm hoping to be doing. So, yeah. All uh, right. So, just giving a little testimony, a little, just getting a little video in at the same time. So we've been ordained, man. You know, and uh, I brought this on one of these men, man. This is the glorious thing. This is what um that um, Moabite saw. So, oh, y'all gonna get your ass kicked by these people who gonna walk on the air, come out of the water on your punk asses. All you other nations is finished. Apostle always bring that verse out. You're finished, man. You're done. I shot, I shot, I shot. You're done. Done, 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 done. Okay, um. Alright, so. I think I got to this point here. Let's read it again. Um, Matthew chapter 16, verse 26. For what is a man, for what is a man profit that should, that sh if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what? Shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Nothing. We gonna get shit. We gonna get hit with a fucking missile. Jet set, jet setting the shit. Dis, dis, um, dis, um, misleading the, the, um, the, the, the sheep. For the Son of Man shall come in His glory, of His Father, with His angels, and then shall, and then shall He. Shall then and then shall then and then he shall receive every man accord every every man shall slack here. Then shall he shall reward every man according to his work. Boy, oh boy, you're gonna get hit with a missile, man. A laser beam. You're gonna be concentrating. I'm telling you, man, he's coming with fire, bro. I'm not letting you. Oh that's not everything in the Bible not real. What? What's he talking about, man? What are you talking about? You ain't gonna deny my crown. And I gotta I gotta keep in my mind that I can't even let my little one to mess up my crown, man. I got every day, bro. I gotta remind her and remind myself. I gotta fight here, bro. You know, now I think that was a real close call with the um hey, I always give this testimony, right? I don't know how many times I do it, but I'm gonna do it again, right? I truly believe the day when I was out there on the highways and hedges with the apostles down 34th Street, my little one and my ex-wife was supposed to get in the car. And they was going over to PA. And um, um I brought this out, I do believe because I was doing the will of Yahweh Shemel Shah that day. They didn't get in the car. That car flipped that van, that minivan flipped over. The other two parents died. The other kids that was in the car. Was they they were crippled? They came out of that car crippled. And I truly believe that Yahweh Shemel Shah preserved my little one and my my damn demon wife. And it got even closer, man. Then the one I raised got um, I don't know what the fuck happened. I'm just starting to talk to the lady. It's been like eight years I ain't talked to her. Me and my little one didn't see her for like eight years. We had to get out of here. I do believe I asked Yahweh Shemel Shah back then. I said, all right, hit. You want me to go worship you or you want me to be a rapper? I said, if you let me into this other situation, I'll, I'll be worshiping you. 
I'll be doing whatever you want. But if you want me to um um leave her here with her mother, I'm going to be a rapper. He told me don't leave her. I took her, and this is twenty this twenty twenty four now. And I put all my I, I put all my um I put everything I'm going through right now in y'all by Shemar Shah's hand. I, I that's the questions I've been asking, man. You know, that's what I've been doing all this time, and I explained that to her. You know, it's a lot here. Something popped up on my screen. I explained that to her, bro. So that's it, man. I'm I'm not doing nothing else no other way, bro. I'm depending on y'all, my own shot. I want that. I need that crown, bro. I need it. I want it. I gotta do what I gotta do to get it, man. And it's been too much evidence, man. Y'all out of your mind. So it's a lot here. Let's get busy. Let's go back this way. All right. Oh, oh, let's go back to this word, perilous. All right. All right. And it says perilous, right? Perilous. Perilous times is coming, man. All right. Full of danger or risk. We are risk. You know, this is this is some. You know, I was being the streets, man. You know, out there, you know, going with the goons and the thugs and shit, man. Right? Getting caught up in some dumb shit. I was caught up in a lot of dumb shit, man. I truly believe you. I bought you shot got me out of those situations, bro. He kept smacking me around, man. I'm telling you, man. I, would, I got so many testimonies that proved I said, wait a minute. And then, oh, boy. Oh, man. I, I don't know what to say about this, right? I'm just going to say it again. I, I don't know how many times I said it, but I, I said this. I, I, so one time I was, um when I was first started doing security work, right? So I think I just got my, I was locked up. I had got locked up. I had caught a gun charge when I was young. Gun, I know. Yeah, I caught a gun charge. And I kept carrying guns and shit, right? I caught a gun charge and the gun exploded. They went, to, I was shooting that shit, right? But the gun exploded when the, when the cops got it. I don't know what the fuck happened, but then they let me out. Like, oh, you going home. So what? I thought, they offered me a one to three. I thought I was going to jail. I thought I was going to fucking jail. I was like, oh shit, I'm going to jail. I ain't know what to do. Then the gun exploded. <laughs> I don't know what they said. The gun was inoperable. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they was doing with it. But I was, I felt I was, I was like, what the fuck? Got out of that situation. Then my security license came in the mail. Then I started going to do security. You know, I was trying out, you know, I was still smoking weed, whatever. And I met this guy at this job I went to. He was sitting in the front. I'm just gonna tell what happened, man. I was smoking weed, and he's telling me, yo, you gotta stop smoking weed. I said, how the fuck does this motherfucker know I smoke weed? I didn't, he, he was a security guard. He was a, um, the super, the, the, uh, the interview guy. I was telling you what he did, man. He said, I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna piss in a cup for you, but you gotta stop smoking weed. Said, you mean you're gonna piss in my cup? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? I said, okay, I just started fucking it. Like he just called me out. He said, you're not going to get the job. You, you, you smoking weed. You know, you got to stop smoking weed. One time. Then I saw the guy again at a different company. Sitting in the front window. Like this. Cunt. 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 He's like. Didn't I tell you to stop smoking weed? <laughs> what the fuck is this? I said, how you get here? You ain't with the other company no more? Yeah, I'm still there too. But I'm here now too. Stop smoking weed, man. I'm gonna get you in here, but you're gonna stop smoking weed. I got into that dog, that job too. A third time, man. The same. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. I don't know what the fuck to tell y'all people. I don't know what the fuck this is about. This shit bugged me out. And it hit me to later on that something was getting me out of a lot of situations. Ah, what the fuck? Again, he did it again. He pissed in the cup for you. That's what the fuck is this, man? I said, nah, I'm good. I I gotta do something. I didn't know what to do with myself. I was, you know, I still was. I ain't had my daughter at the time, so she wasn't even doing it yet. But I was like, 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 I tell you to stop smoking weed, man. Yo, man, you gotta stop smoking weed, man. I'm gonna get you in here. He was at the do an interview at three different companies, bro. That shit was crazy, man. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Every time, and then it, it came back to me on a on a like a how you say a reminisce. Of all, um, a life, how you say that saying? Like, when you, um, see your life before your eyes, got you out of this situation, remember this situation, remember this? Remember that? It was like, brrr, like a whole bunch of, um, scenes. What the fuck? Go do my work. 
And I, I, I remember that day I was, I just got up and went and did the work. But and I was like, what the fuck, man? I don't know what the hell I do nothing. I don't know what to call this. I just know that I, to this point, I was um, I feel like the truth y'all watching me on shot has got me to um, to this, do these all these ordeals, man. And I'm still terrified, bro. And I, ain't, I remember, man, it's another situation. Where I'm like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> so. To make the um long story shorter or short or we here now. I brought this out. The Lord get us out of here. Get me up out of here, man. All these perilous times that's coming. So it's a lot of care. That, that was just something that jumped in my mind. Alright, so and um just wanna read this. I was just this verse right here, just the first back to the back to the um topic of the verse. Let me around full circle. But um it says Isaiah chapter forty one verse ten, the NLT translation. The NLT translation, and I'm, I'm terrified, bro. But I, when I this verse came out, I saw this verse. I had other verses, <laughs> but the Lord brought these verses out. The other verses and the the, the spirit the testimony. That's that's from Yahweh Shema Shah. It's not mine. I just I'm just a vessel, man, seeking salvation, bro. And it's, and whew, I don't know what I'm saying, bro. That's why I be. I mean, the Wadi Yahweh Shema Shah for having me um go. And meet other brothers in different locations, and I truly, I wasn't, I never been in D.C. before until this truth. Like, and I truly believe when I got the job, I had jobs over there, and then truly, I said, oh, I can go right here to the camp, and I met um, a lot of brothers from D.C. I met the Baltimore elder, and he was like, oh, I finally meet a brother. For, um, I was hyped to see him, the defender of the um, the um, the Baltimore elder, um, uh, Karak, uh. I forgot you say his name, Salaki. Um, Karatazaba, I think that's how you say his name. I mean, I was just, I said, yo, I always watch your videos, man. <laughs> um, the Defenders, I know it's one of the videos, one of these chapters, you start with the Defenders. And I was like, um, you know, I knew the brother, um, um, oh, jeez. Bashad, Bashad, I know him. We've been on the battlefield together, Monagon. And then another brother said to me, another elder brother that's out there, he said, what's up, man? He said, I know y'all watch your video. I said, what you watch? And I was like, oh, man. I was like, but it was hype to go that way. And the brothers in Philly, Shalom. I'm going out there to Philly now. Um, and um, yeah, man, we here now, bro. We brothers now, baby. Yeah. I don't want to leave. I don't want to be let go, man. I'm terrified, man. I'm terrified that I don't get this crown. Or I get hit with a laser beam. I get... If you can put me, in, if if I get put into a concentration camp, because I ain't take the C hip, oh man, that's my moment of clarity. That's my moment of clarity. If they come after me because of this troop. That's our moment of clarity, baby. That's when the Lord said that um, in Matthew's that they're gonna go speak what He wants you to speak. That's what we're looking forward to, man. That's right. So I gotta not be afraid, bro. You know, certain things I'd be scared to do, man. You know, like this, you know, just regular shit, like, you know, you know, dealing with my little one. You know, but I gotta be strong, man. I gotta be strong, and and it, and and, and, and let the Lord deal with everything, bro. So, all right. So let me end this video. Isaiah chapter forty-one, verse ten, the NLT translation. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your power. I will strengthen you. And help you. I will hold you up with the victorious right hand, and that's what I need. Victorious right hand is your house shy, man. I want him to. Hold. I want to. I want to um, get up out of here, man. I need. I need him. I don't know what y'all doing this for, but I need y'all. I'm shy. I need your Howard to send back your house shy, bro. I need to see a dark skinned brother with an afro, whatever size hair he have, so he can give me that glory, so he can get wrap these tears off my eyes, man. Right? I'm always fucking crying and shit. You know what I mean? Can't, you know, I got to get up every morning, go to fuck to work. You know? I truly believe he preserved me. I truly believe he been preserving me, man. This shit crazy, bro. It's so like you, man. This shit, I, I'm like, Lord, you just... I feel like he made, he anointed me, man. I made it to all the Passovers. I've been trying to, you know, try to learn, you know, get influent in Hebrew. You know, I got the alphabet, you know what I mean? You know, my little one, she know Hebrews. I truly believe, you know, you know, this world is bad, man. This world got more of a hold on your children than you, bro. They, 
they fuck up the children's mind and your and your loved ones' minds, man. Your woman's and shit. They they this fucking world fuck them up. And you all looking like, oh, man, you lucky you got to this point, bro. You're blessed. I'm not, I'm not lucky. No luck. You're blessed. You got we got to this point. If we doing this now, we the ones. I'd rather say I make it up out of here. So yeah. So. Let's read the next one. Uh, verse 11. See all your... See... Um, see all your angry, anger... See all your anger and lie, enemies is lie there. So like, I think I read... Let's read over here. Let's read. I think I read that wrong. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go to KJV real fast. All right. Um, behold, all they that were increased against thee shall be ashamed. And confound it. They should they should be as nothing. They that strive with thee shall perish. That's what we're looking for. And now Barakazah, we make it up out of here. You know? Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahusha, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahashim El Shah, Bashim Rakadash. The Wadi Yahashim El Shah for the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akim. Come now, shall I?